Good morning, good morning, kingdom. I love you, my brothers and sisters. This is Wisdom Speak. Today, I would like to read to you Matthew chapter 4, starting at verse 1, and it reads this wise. Then was Jesus led up the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. Then the devil take him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. And says unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And again the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain, and show him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And says unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus to him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaving him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. The word is already blessed, my brothers and sisters. So with that being said, let's go to the throne of grace. Mishaps, cruelty, bias, opinion, unkindness, unloving, idolatry, murmuring, overlooked, doctrine of the devil, mismatched thinking, Unholy thoughts and impure motives keeps our focus on what doesn't please you. Our selfish desire is so focused on what we want, a new house, a new car, a new job, a new spouse, new and new, that when we come to the altar of worship, it is not pure and holy in the name of Jesus Christ. The worship is not out of obedience unto you, mighty God, and our hearts is not truly focused on you and you alone. For our faith says we believe, but our hearts just keeps us in a state of more and more and more. Today, not from my carnal mindset, no, not today. I want to worship you in spirit and in truth, for you are the mighty Elohim, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So today, I come to ask of you to pure, purify my heart and make it holy to worship you in spirit and in truth. For it is written in Matthew 4 and 11, Then said Jesus to him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Lord our God, we don't want to place gimmicks in front of you and call it worship, and then we move on to the next. For we want our worship to be pure and holy and reverence unto you, that we will have a move of you, holy and righteous God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our worship not be lukewarm and with the spiritual heart of assumption that you will do it because we know that you can. But let us come with the reverence, awe-inspiring truth of who you are. Faith, moving, worship, heart of love, and repentance of saying we are truly sorry for not doing it righteously in the name of Jesus the Christ. Help us to repair the breach today that our worship will invoke you to come and visit us and, and restore us brand new for today. We ask for the restoration of our worship to be pure and holy. For it is in the name of Jesus Christ we come because of the death, the burial, the resurrection, and the accession, and that the innocent Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is seated at the right hand, mighty and awesome God, we can come to you through the shed blood, that we can be purged and purified to give you honorable worship and spirit and the truth, because we love you, holy and righteous God. So we repent and ask that you will breathe on us with the righteous spirit of worship of who you are in, in tr truth, in faith, in understanding, knowledge, in spirit, and in soul today, we say yes and amen, amen, and amen. I love you, kingdom. You have an awesome and wonderful day.